Good morning, welcome to Brickwright, welcome to the channel. If you're new, please like and subscribe. If you've been here before, then thanks for supporting us. We're on a new job. We're back in our home area in Pontypris in South Wales. And as you can see by the look on my face, it's bloody cold for you, isn't it? Yep. So this is what we got going on. So this is the job. We've got some, we're gonna slab on top of this. We're gonna fill this in. We're gonna slab the Indian sandstone on top of there. We're gonna remodel these steps down here and change the risers. If you come down here, Frey, and just show them this top riser there, look. You know, that's like two and a half bricks. You know, the client's getting to there and then he's, he's kind of struggling to get up on top of that. That's a trip hazard. That's a trip hazard. So we've got to try and remodel that. And then we are gonna do these two manhole covers. There's always two manhole covers we've got to do, isn't there? Every time. Every time. So we've got another two manhole covers to do. Eco drains in front of there to stop the water going on the damp proof course. And then we are going to slab that side of it with some tile adhesive. Re-slab all that. Re-slab all this. And put eco drains up against the house or that side. We haven't decided yet. So that's the job. What we have said to the client is this driveway has got a couple of cracks in it. Now before anybody starts saying, oh, you can't go put in slabs on top of there, we've spoken to the client to take this driveway out. The concrete here is easily, what's that? That's about 600, 550 thick, going up onto a retaining wall. So they gave him a price to take all this out, and it was, you know, he, he didn't want to pay that. So we've spoken to the client about these cracks. Now, the house has been here since the 70s. So my theory is that's cracked to his maximal maximum now. So when we slab over the top of that, it shouldn't crack again, but we can't guarantee it. So all that's been explained to the client. He's happy, it's not an ideal situation, but that's what he wants. We've talked about it, so that's what we're gonna do. Just in case people see that, we are gonna take the top crack out and blend it in to the path up there, the council path. So that should be fine. So there we are, that's the job. Get on with it, lads, is it? Look at Brad. Got his fur on. Got your fur on, Brad. Sad fur, it's cold. Got his sad fur on. So there we are. We're all smiles. Fraser's smiling. You smiling, Brad? He's happy. You, you've had your breakfast, have you? Yeah. No. <laughs> right, we'll get on with it anyway. See you in a bit. Yeah, then, Brad. Look how thick that concrete is there. I reckon it's six and eight inches. So we're using that. This electric Hilti, we did try to get in a hydraulic petrol breaker, but they didn't have any. So they've given us that, but it's a pretty good machine. But um, we've just taken that off now to the crack. I'm going to do the same that side. So when we put the patio on top of the concrete, we can get a level to the tarmac up there where the barrow is uh, sat. But it just goes to show, okay, there is a couple of cracks in the concrete, but look how thick that is. I mean, in, in some state places, that's a good 10 inches thick there, Brad, isn't it? Yeah. So this is where we are with this. Boys carried on with this yesterday. Took Lucy to the hospital yesterday for appointment, so I wasn't here. So I've jet washed all this now, so that's all done. Um, I mean, whoever put this in wants to be thoroughly ashamed because, you know, they've used soil to backfill that there, look. All that there is backfilled with soil, so we're going to have to dig that out. But that's, it's just shocking, isn't it? And then this section down here, all that is absolutely rock solid concrete as well. There's nothing wrong with it, so we're going to lay on top of that. So today we're going to put the uh, the eco drains in, get that sorted out, um, and then try and get the eco drains down in there and get ourselves prepped and start laying as quick as we can. So, yeah, keep watching. He's a big one, he is, Brad, isn't he? Let's have a look at it, Brad. It's on the camera here. Good lord. Monstrous. Alright, um, I'm just going along here now with my hammer and chisel and just cleaning up the sides. So these are, what was it called again? Linear, linear drains, is it? that's what you call it, is it? That's right, yeah. Uh, just so they can fit in nice and tight against this wall here. Uh, we, we dished this up yesterday with a disc cutter and a breaker. Yeah, just cleaning it up. There it is, so we're gonna connect it. It's gonna come down here, gonna connect into that bad boy there, and then the other part that Brad meticulously did this yesterday. We've done this garage conversion 
and then they've built over that which I mean it's absolutely disgusting isn't it they've built over that so we're just going to work with it we're going to connect into that and put some eco drains there so that when all the water comes down there it'll go into the drainage system Brad's up there putting a mix on so we'll show you some more in a minute stupid enough to come in like me so here we are so we're gonna whack you on the time lapse and we're gonna I'm gonna have to have a go today so the boys training is gonna have to go and stop a little bit we're gonna whack you on the time lapse so we're gonna do those two um manholes but Brad if I get really bad just put me down the manhole and shut the lid like this mate happy days it might be easier just to get rid of me because I am gonna moan all day and I'm gonna want sympathy off you all day and you ain't gonna give me none of it are you no sympathy off me no sympathy whatsoever even Lucy won't give me any sympathy so I'm lost, really, and I. I was gonna say swear word, then you're screwed. <laughs> I am screwed. So I feel like crap. Look like crap. Smell like crap. Let's get on with it, is it? Let's lay some crap. Let's lay some crap. I caught it, yeah. Otherwise, if he'd smash my phone, I think I'd just go on holiday for a week. Probably go down to Bognor for a week and just stay there, Brad, wouldn't I? Well, you've got holidays in a couple of weeks' time, so just leave it there, yeah, is it? I have to spend money on everybody else in Christmas when I get a pair of socks. <laughs> but we've got the two manholes in now, right? So we've cut the backs, we've cut this side off the manhole, this little strip, to get them tight. But we'll bed around on top of them, which will, they won't come up when you, uh, when you lift them. Nobody, no car's ever going to drive on you because a client, you know, it's been here 20 years and it's so steep. All he wants to do is tidy it up and, and, and get it looking nice. So there's not going to be any cars driving on you or nothing. But um, we've got the two manholes in now. We'll put you back on the hyperspace if Brad don't ruin it. And we'll, um, we'll catch it all in, is it? Why not? Yeah, let's do it then.
we are then. We're in the middle of Storm Arwen. Not Arwen, Arwen, if you're Welsh boys, isn't it? Arwen. Arwen, yeah. Mm -hmm. Arwen. So, we are, we've done all that down there. Couldn't show you any footage because it's tight. I'm still full of lurgy. Fraser's full of lurgy. Brad's got the start of it. Yeah, give so, it to me. What we got here, I wanted to show you this. Come a little bit closer, Brad. So, this slab is 840ml. Right? 840ml. There we are. You got that there. And then this one and this one, which is what the bond is, that's what the pattern is. That's 844ml. Mm. Right? And that's tight. So, the problem we're getting is when you put a joint on it, you got this. You got this left over. So what we gotta do all the time is you gotta keep cutting that off all the bloody time. Now these are Bradstone slabs. We've laid them before, not a problem, have we? Mm. We've got these now, and obviously I don't know what's going on, but uh, you're doing a, a lot of cutting down there, and a lot of cutting here, and a lot of cutting around the manholes. So you, you, you know it's cut heaven, and then all of a sudden then you're laying what is supposed to be a full slab as a small square and you've got to bloody cut that as well so and we've, and we've got the same issue going on with this one here we're just gonna to have to trim back on monday so you know that's coming through and we've got to trim what 12 mil 15 mil off off mm. that cut as well off a small rectangle so it ain't the best is it let me no. know in the comments below i mean indian sandstone whoever's laid these you know that the small squares a lot of them we've had this problem for many many years but why can't the manufacturers get it bloody right so we can just lay the damn things and we don't have to cut off, a foot off you know, cut 10, 15 mil off a certain shape Indian sandstone to get it to fit bond? I mean, we haven't done anything wrong. You can see the measurements. The measurements don't lie. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what you've experienced. Um, show them that down there, Brad, because we couldn't get down there because by the time me, mine and Brad's backsides were down there, all you could see was backside, so we didn't want to video that, did we, Frank? No. No. He's already stuck. His, he's, he's already stuck old. his head in my back once. I know you nearly swallowed me up, didn't you? <laughs> nearly ate me. <laughs> 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 anyway, we're gonna crack on with it. Hopefully, Storm Arwen buggers off. It's blue skies at the moment, so yeah, we'll crack on. See you in a minute. So we're on this slopey little bit now. <clears throat> Fraser's had a little go with it. He's finding it a little bit challenging for you, isn't you? Yeah. So he's asked the old fella to take over again. So I don't know who the old fella is. Do you, Brad? You. Oh, thanks. Mm. So this is the setup we've got now. We've got our 40 mil overhang that we've marked up on this line here. And excuse my voice. <coughs> so you've got 40 mil overhang. That dictates that. We've got this line here in the middle set out on that square there. That is 20 mil thicker than this. Up there on that side, right by the side of Brad, we've got another square with a green string line set up for the levels over there. So what we're doing is we're laying a slab here first, so the next slab here is a small rectangle, so laying a small rectangle here. Then I'm laying a dead man, a dead slab over there, underneath the line, and that just gives us something then to go across like that to, to level or lay to. So that's where we are. So if you're doing this, um, you won't get to do this very often on the slope, I know, but if you're doing it, it just gives you a little bit of a heads up as to uh, how we're doing it. It might be another way, I don't know, but uh, it seems to be working for us, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And I'm absolutely still, for the second week now, full up of uh, Lurgy. Brad's got it. His daughter's got it. been awake after night, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Fraser's got it. Let me know, you guys. Comments below if you're working outside in these freezing conditions with Lurgy at the moment. Comments below. See you in a minute. Right, we've got one slab that none of us were very happy with. It was a little bit low. So we've got Brad now. Brad's here to try and take that off. Give him a, a smack, Brad. So that is absolutely rock solid, isn't it? So what mix do we use? Just tell them what mix we use. Because obviously uh, it's working. And that's what no. you want underneath your bait, underneath your patio, isn't it? Laid on concrete. Slide that. Four and one mix slide the slab and the slab wouldn't come up i had to use this couldn't even get it up so yeah yeah some good cement that is yeah o'brien 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 from travis perkins from uh island from so the old Republic. it's doing a good job and a lot of the boys use five to one and six to one we've actually used a four and one and that's what we use all the time but um it just goes to show that uh 
it's actually working in it which is a good thing so we thought we'd share it with you so while i'm here this is the slope that we're working on that's the wall there and then when we get to the top we got a lot of like twisting to do to get it to work to join level with the drive and that was what the original drive was but because it's a random pattern from where you see the damage on the wall right on the top left hand corner of the screen there right the way down that was straight and then when you get to the middle of the screen there it starts to twist up again so we've had it twisted down the bottom there you you can see it on the camera actually you can, it's twisted there and it's actually twisted big time at the top of there now to twist it on a random pattern laying big slabs like the one in the center of the screen there it's been a bit of a challenge haven't it a bit of pain in the to say the there. least but we're getting there it's nearly done we haven't showed you much footage because it's been raining and the site's so small so you'll have to bear with us on it well there it is we haven't brought you any footage again so do apologize we've been up against it and trying to get stuff finished off for christmas but that's it so if i go further back I don't know if you can see it but there's a massive dip where it goes in and we've just had to replicate what was already there so we managed to twist it how we managed to do it i don't know but um it's in clients happy let's just show you the whole thing so there's the manholes all cut in nice neat and tidy down there and then we've done the steps up there and then all the eco drains and everything through there so there we go show you from this angle if i get down there you'll be able to see how steep it is it's really really steep he's not going to park his car on it it's not for a drive it's just aesthetics just to make it look good skip's gone road's nice and clean and tidy sent the boys home on to the next one so next video will be a clay paving driveway so see you on the next one don't forget to like and subscribe see you soon cheers ta -da.